Hello, in this video we are going to create a line graph. Now it is a line graph, but in this specific case it is a frequency polygon. A frequency polygon is a line graph when you're dealing with a frequency distribution, which we have right here. Now this frequency distribution is dealing with test scores and then the number of, say, students who got that score. So for example, five students got a score of 45. Uh, 17 students got a score of 60, uh, 2 students scored a 75, and so on. Okay, so normally you would try to find your independent and dependent because you need to know which axis uh, to put this information on. Usually, your left-hand column will be your independent, meaning your x-axis, and the right-hand column usually the dependent, which is the y-axis. So let's start with our y-axis. Okay, and then let's draw the x-axis. All right, now on the bottom, okay, these are this is uh, where I'm going to put all my test scores. So I'm going to label these test scores. And then over here would then be our frequency, which I'll just label, you know, F R E Q. All right, so how many test scores do I have to put on the x-axis? We have one, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight. So we'll mark off eight spots. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I will label them. So we're going to put a 45, and then 50, 55, 60, is it 65, 70, 75, and 80. All right, now onto the frequency side. Uh, we're going to have, let's see, we're going to start at 1, and our highest is 52. All right, so I'm going to go up to 60, and I'm going to do it by 10s. So it will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. All right, let me label. So 10, don't forget to label, by the way, very important. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. All right, so here we go. We have, we'll start plotting some points. So for a score of 45, we had five students who did that. Now, when you plot your point, put in a little number above it, which tells me specifically what that frequency is. It is kind of hard to see, right, that it is five. All right, moving on to 50, we have 21. So that's about right there. Put a number 21 above it. Score 55. Well, it says 36 students, so let's go up to 36, which is about right there. Uh, score of 60, we had 17. It's about right there. Uh, 65, we had 52. That is way up here. Score of 70, we had 16. About right there. Uh, 75, we had 2. And 80, we had a 1. All right, so now what we're going to do, because this is a line graph, all right, there's, you, from this point, you can still go line graph or bar graph. Uh, now, line graph, all we're going to do is connect these dots with a straight line, which may not be perfectly straight, but here we go. So there's one, two, e, all right, so not too bad. Okay, so there we go. There is our um, frequency polygon, or in this case, it is generally a line graph. Remember, that is the general term, uh, but when it is a frequency distribution, it is, uh, we get to call it a frequency polygon. And then you can come up here and you can label this, uh, you can title this test scores of students or something like that. 